Hello and welcome to the second session about developing web applications with AngularJS and Wakanda. This morning we've shown you how quickly you can create an application with the Angular Wakanda connector. It just takes a few lines of code to retrieve the model, manage pagination and navigation through the data, and to edit data in an entry form. We're now going to go a little farther into the features. We'll start once again with our company employee model with the one n relation to which we'll add a new relation with countries. With Angular Wakanda, we'll make three linked lists representing countries, their companies, and the employees in these companies. Each list is associated with a current element. When the country or company is changed, we can simply use the $fetch method in Angular Wakanda to update the connected list. Here we have country.companies.$fetch. You can also easily filter the companies of a specific country with $find. Finally, to get live scrolling, all we have to do is to bind an existing directive, here when scrolled, to the Angular Wakanda dollar more collection method. And that's it. Note that live scrolling performs very well regardless of how much data or the complexity of a filter because the database optimizes the requests by creating a native cache on the server side. To understand how this works, you can see in the schema a classic paging workflow. To return data from a client request, the server usually makes a request with potentially complex search criteria and some paging limits. To return the next elements, the server sends a new request to the database and applies the search again to find the next elements. With Wakanda, on the first request, a cached entity set ID is set to the result for the search. When the client asks for the next elements, the server doesn't have to search any further, it only has to fetch from the cache. We're going to create a demo in which a vendor will create a discount and then push it to all the customer's browsers connected to the app. Let's look at a few things that Wakanda has to offer at the server model level. In addition to classic data, our Wakanda model exposes attributes of calculated or alias types. We can also define server methods here. Let's add, for example, a send mail method to the employees class. Let's now extend the employee class to create a vendor class. We add a dedicated client's employee collection attribute to it, and we see that a relationship is automatically created with a new vendor attribute in the employee class. Now we'll add a create discount method to this vendor class. This method will do three things. Create a discount with its arguments values, broadcast the promo to all connected clients, and send the offer to all the vendor clients. You'll notice we're not using any callbacks and just the classic try catch. We'll see why in a few seconds. Before we go on, if you aren't a fan of WYSIWYG design, you should know that this data model is a simple JSON file that's easy to edit. This file can thus also be generated or modified with a code editor, a grunt task, a yeoman generator, or any other tool. You also have the ability to code your whole model in pure server-side JavaScript with a dedicated API. You can thus structure it in modules or common JS packages, potentially shared between multiple projects, or even on GitHub. Let's go back to the application. This demo will be an opportunity to highlight some of Wakanda server's multi-threaded capabilities, allowing both synchronous and asynchronous code. When the vendor clicks to validate this discount form, we call the server createDiscount method we created directly via the Angular Wakanda connector. When this method is called, the NoSQL database generates a dedicated thread. It will then be able to run the synchronous server-side JavaScript code. Here, create promotion, broadcast, and send mail. To push data to the clients, the broadcast module only has to use the post message API to communicate with a WebSocket handler thread, which is a standard HTML5 shared worker running on the server. We then use the asynchronous APIs to forward the data from the SSJS thread port to the WebSocket handler ports to ask the WebSocket server to push it to these clients. Now let's see what we get live. We have three browsers, the salesperson who creates the discount, and two clients who will receive it instantly. We create the discount, validate the form, and we can see that the two clients have been automatically alerted by the Wakanda server. And that's it. That's what we can show you in five minutes. Just keep in mind that we're recruiting, so come by and see us at our booth. And now the lightning talks. Good luck to all.